Jen here, Cleveland Street Novelties. Happy Mother's Day, everyone! Today we have got a super special Living Dead Dolls review. Oh, look at check it out, you guys! Psycho! What better way to celebrate Mother's Day than with this dynamic freaking duo? Bam! You guys, I'm so excited! I'm so in love with these dolls. I don't know if you guys have them in your collection, but I am so excited to have them in the Cleveland Street Novelties collection. I want to, I don't know who to tear into first, you guys. I think I'm going to save Norman to last because look, look, he's got accessories and you know I love my babies to have accessories. So I'm going to go ahead. I mean, I'm going to start with uh, our victim here, Marion Crane. Um, I hope you guys are familiar with the actual movie Psycho. Uh, came out in 1960, done, of course, by the master of suspense himself. La making his little cameo like he does in all his movies. Pachow! Alfred Hitchcock. It's actually based on a book, though. And um, the book, of course, is by the same name, by a guy named Robert Block. And um, I thought this was super interesting. Block's character in the book was based or inspired by Ed Gein. Ooh. Ed Gein's inspired a lot of horror movies out there. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, of course, being one of the big ones. But... Um, Ed Gein was kind of creepy, and you can kind of see the similarities between Ed Gein and Norman Bates um, in the movie because he's got his big taxidermy um, uh, obsession, a bit of an obsession of mine. But look, you guys, beautiful. Do you guys know who Janet Lee's daughter is? You guys have got to know. Janet Lee has is a little scream queen here. Ah! But um, Jamie Lee Curtis is actually her daughter and a couple Mother's Day, oh no, it's her, for her birthday. Jamie Lee actually recreated this famous scream shower scene as an homage and like a happy Mother's Day to her mom. But look here, our beautiful Janet Lee, Marion Crane looking so great. The box, you guys, even the box is so phenomenal. Of course, you love the fact that it's got Norman's hand pulling back the curtain and the little knife over here. Well, it was a little knife, big knife over here. And then, of course, the back of it is uh, the shower, the actual little tiles of the shower. Oh, look, great little silhouette of Norman right there. And, of course, that iconic house. And I guess the house was actually based on a house that was in a painting. I can't remember the name of the painting, but it's pretty cool. And now to her beautiful little dolly. I'm sure as you guys can tell, the movie was done in black and white, and therefore the dolls are in black and white. So check out her great styled hair here. Of course, it was, you know, a little bit wet because she was in the shower, so it's kind of a little bit tousled. I love the fact, just like in the movie, they've got her hands ah, up in the air doing that famous iconic scream that everybody loved so well. Fun little fact, in the actual movie, Alfred Hitchcock decided to use um, syrup. It was like chocolate syrup. We'll say Hershey syrup. I don't know uh, the technical brand. But it showed up better on the camera than, I guess, any of the fake blood. <gasps> I want to go ahead and go over the fine details of her. The fact that it's done in the whites and black and gray to pay homage to the movie is just so beautiful. She's got this great wrinkling right around her eyes where, of course, when you scream, ah! Everything just scrunches up and looks absolutely terrible. The big open mouth yelling at you, showing all her teeth. I love it. And then look, she's got a super awesome Beats Motel towel. Oh, it's so dang cute. I kind of think I need um, all my white towels to have Beats Motel embroidered on them now. She's so pretty. I love it so much. I'm going to pull it up a little. I imagine that this is... This is down a little too much to be a PG, PG-13 for any of the viewers out there. But look how beautiful she is, you guys. I'm going to go ahead do, 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 stand her over uh, next to our fabulous director over there and bust out dun, 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 Anthony Perkins as Norman Bates and also as Mother. So if you guys haven't seen the movie, spoiler a freaking alert, because in the movie, Mother is the killer, but we later find out that Mother is actually played by Norman himself, because he's a little, he's a little wackadoodle right there. This box, you guys, again, is so sweet, so cute. It's got... Um, Dun, 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 dun. This awesome kind of brocade, very much filigree, old-fashioned wallpaper in the back. You can imagine that this was almost textured. Oh, I dream of having wallpaper like this in my house. But again, here you've got from um, Marion Crane, Janet Lee's perspective, the little hands up. 
yes, he comes at her with that big old knife. I just love it. Same little sides here. We got Norman over here, and we got the fabulous Bates Motel over there. And then we've got Norman himself, Mr. Bates. Oh, my God, you guys, look at this. Of course, in the movie, he's dressed up just like his mother. He's got this fabulous wig on, even puts the dress on. He's not so quite right in the brain there but we absolutely love him love this movie and i am <gasps> loving this doll you guys okay so up top we clearly have mother's wig but underneath you can see norman's hair peeking out and this is actually strapped on i've been dying to see if i could take the wig off i know again everybody out there with an in the box up on the shelf look away look away if this upsets you greatly but i've got to see what's going on up underneath this wig oh look at it you guys oh it's his oh yeah look at that hair and of course it would just be matted down just as though it was under the wig and the wig oh i'm dying from the details just so perfect the cute little bun in the back just like mother wore her hair I love it so much, you guys. And then we've got the beautiful sort of gingham, black and gray, of course, in the black and white, wonderful dress. And then, check out the size of this knife, you guys. This is vicious. This is Look at the size of our victim. This is like her, her entire length of her forearm there. Can you imagine this thing coming at you? You'd be making that face, too. Speaking of faces, look at his. Look at the eyes, the way they're just cast down. You could tell that she's just starting to fall and shriek away as he's just going to town, hacking and slashing in that murderous rampage of his. He's got that open mouth, but the way they've got the creases in there, you can tell that there's violence in his eyes and in all his actions. I also wanted to show you guys, look at this. All the way down, he's got his fabulous shoes, but underneath, he even has pants on. It literally is Norman dressed up as mother. And I wanted to see, I wanted to peek to see if he had like a shirt on underneath. How far did they go with the details on this, you guys? I've got to find out. We've got the same Velcro back opening. And there's no shirt, but that's okay. The fact that they've got him in the pants in the boots and then even even in socks the attention to detail is just so fabulous you guys i am so excited i love them so much and i love my mother dearly i love all the mothers in my life but um i i don't think i love them as much as uh, norman loved his mother even if it was in a pretty creepy weird fashion now another little fun fact was that um this movie Psycho was Alfred Hitchcock's number one grossing movie. And you know why? We all know why. Because horror still sells, you guys. And Living Dead Dolls and Mezco proves that every single day. Horror sells. And this horror mom is so happy to be able to celebrate Mother's Day with you guys and share these fabulous, beautiful, creepy, black and white horror-themed dolls. <laughs> What a wonderful Mother's Day. What a great way to spend it with you guys and sharing this collection with you. Thank you guys so much for joining me and letting me share these dolls with you. And I will see you again real soon. As always, make sure you guys are subscribing. We're always going to come out with cute, fun little things like that. I'm still going to share my entire collection of Living Dead dolls with you. Don't you dare worry about that. But there's even more new dolls coming out. We've got Alex from A Clockwork Orange. We've got Harley Quinn coming out. There's a whole new series. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait to see them, you guys. And I want you to be the first to see them. So subscribe. And as always, you guys, make sure you comment below and tell me what you liked. And tell me what you didn't like. And tell me what you guys want to see next. What I want to see is uh, you guys having a fabulous Mother's Day. I'll see you guys again really soon. Thanks, you guys. Bye. Hi, guys. Do you like living dead dolls, mystery minis, cool fun Funko toys, horror movies, walks in the cemetery? Me too. Make sure you guys subscribe.